Hello Capricorn, this is an X reading for the 10th through the 16th. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, please. Let's see how your relationship was before. Hmm, it was moving pretty fast. You felt like it was going in a positive direction. Both of you guys, actually, at one point, okay? Very positive direction here. I think both of you felt like this was something good for you after what you had been through before you guys got together. How did you view the relationship? Hmm. You had a lot of good times together. A lot of good times together, I feel. You guys went a lot of places. You probably you know, went on vacation together, hung out with friends together, mutual friends. You know, just had a good time together. You guys enjoyed each other. Okay? Let's see how your ex viewed the relationship. They had a lot of sorrow. I feel like maybe the person that you were dealing with, Capricorns, um, maybe had a, had some depression. Maybe they had a, had a hard time getting over things. You know, both of you felt like, you know, you were in a good spot in this relationship, especially where you came from from the past. But I feel like, you know, this individual, your ex probably had a hard time letting go of other things from the past. You know, some people carry things with them for a long time. Hmm. Very sad energy. Maybe they were um maybe they were depressed and you didn't know it. Let's see what your current situation is. Wow, we have three to the six of cups. Hmm. A lot of you are just, I think you do a lot of reminiscing on the past. And I think that, um, wow. A lot of you want to get back together. I think you see this person as your soulmate. You see this person as somebody that you are meant to be with. Look at that. As I see the magician in my computer screen right there a lot of you are really want to get back together here this is the energy overall energy for your reading yeah very very strong relationship here very strong relationship here some of you are actually too involved with someone else from your past I feel and then others of you have met somebody who you feel like this, this strong bond with. Not this ex, though. I don't feel. Okay. Let's see what their current situation is. Hmm. This person does not know what it is that they want. They go, I, I believe there is a level of depression here. Because they kind of they kind of go back and forth, teeter totter, um, being sure about their feelings, they being unsure about their feelings, feeling certain way about someone, and then feeling a, a certain way about someone else. I feel like this person carries a lot of baggage. They're they're like all over the place. I do feel okay. Let's see how you view them. How do you view them? How does Capricorn view their ex? Okay. Cards are wanting to jump here. Didn't actually come out though. Okay. Hmm. I think, you know, you view your ex as um, being a little arrogant, I feel. I think that you guys, you guys feel as though this person knows that you guys belong together, but they're not taking any action here. That they're wanting you to take action. They're just sitting idly by and just allowing you to go on with your life, knowing what you mean to each other here. 
there's a level of arrogance there. But I think that arrogance is a facade because I really feel like this person is not balanced. They're not as cocky as you think they are. They're really not here. Okay. Let's see how they think, what they think about you. Ooh, that was ugly. <clears throat> hmm. They think you've moved on. Um, I think they uh, they feel like you started something with someone else. Like you're spending time with someone else. Or you have started to spend time with someone else here. That you're not you know, making any moves towards them either. They want you to. And I feel like they truly want to build something with you. But they have a lot going on here. Hmm. They feel like you've decided that you don't want to be with them. That, you know, you're moving on, spending your time somewhere else here. Let's see how you feel about getting back together. Not really focused on it. Mm -mm. Not with them. I think that you have taken your hands off of this. It's like, you know what? Um, there's not enough love there. There's not enough love there. So you're just like not really focused on this at this point. I think you're focusing on other things in your life here. Hmm. Let's see how they feel about getting back together. Definitely want to. They definitely want to. This person is looking for you to reach out to them. To be honest with you, I feel like this person is screaming for help. Honestly. And they feel like, you know, they've lost you. They realize just how significant you were in their life. They realize just how loving you were um, to them, how supportive you were to them, regardless of what kind of asshole they acted like or how they were very fickle back and forth. Like you were always there. I feel very sad right now. Um, hmm. Let's see what you guys can do to help this along. Wow. <sighs> now we have a couple here. I feel like you guys truly, I think you knew it though. You've known it that you guys had a very strong connection, um, undeniable connection here. But I think you just need to let this person come around, but be there for them if they do come around. Because honestly, I don't feel like there's anything you can do like actively at this point, but love them unconditionally. Be very um, stable and grounded emotionally when they do reach out, because they may. But in this state right here, I don't, I don't really... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this person is going through something right now. Let's see. How can they, <clears throat> what can they do to increase the chances of this relationship coming back together? Hmm. <laughs> I feel like they need to choose what it is that they really want or choose who it is that they really want. Because again, like I told you before, I feel like this person has a hard time letting things go. I feel like they may, um, they don't like to be alone either. So maybe they have latched onto somebody um, just to try to like avoid their own feelings here. 
I think they need to make a choice. Honestly, I think right now they probably need to make a choice of themselves only and get some help, to be honest with you. Um, and I think maybe that's what it is. They first have to choose themselves and get some help. They need, they need some, some balance in their life here. Um, because you cannot be their lover, mother, friend, um, psychiatrist, therapist, okay? Or father, lover, friend, psychiatrist, therapist. You know, whether male or female here. All right. Let's see what the potential outcome is here. Hmm. There's that magician. Somebody has the tools to make this happen, for sure. But I think this is strictly in your ex's hands. Um, yeah, I feel like that. Very Gemini energy. Cancer, okay? Does not have to be those signs, but, you know, that's what, that's what I'm seeing here. This was jumping out for me. Um, cancer here. Gemini here and then all over here okay but that's just the energy present guys does not have to be those signs let's see what the romance angels has to say this person needs to get themselves together decide what they really want out of life um, and who they want getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens I think this person has some deep, um, some deep seated issues that you probably did not know about before. And I think that maybe if they discussed some of these things with you open and honestly, that um, most definitely this could come back together. I feel like the power lies with them, actually, because I don't think you're moving here. Okay, even though you feel this um, this strong connection with your ex. All right, my Capricorn. So that's what I have for you guys, and I will speak with you soon.